things are really heating up in the crypto market, specifically the Shiba Inu market. And it is becoming more and more important for crypto holders to decide what's next for them regarding their crypto investments. I have some information in this video that might help you to make that decision if you are thinking of doing that. So make sure to watch this entire video. Disclaimer. Right now, it looks like the crypto market is collapsing on itself and all of this kind of started in 2022. 2021 was the year when the crypto market exploded, with many people making lots of money. But 2022 came, and not only did prices start to drop, but crypto companies started collapsing as well. Worse still, companies like FTX were being investigated for engaging in fraudulent activities. But in all of that, Binance always stood tall, even coming to the rescue of many a crypto project. So many probably thought that Binance was doing everything by the book. However, the last couple of days has proven that to be false. Binance and its CEO CZ are being investigated for misappropriation of customers' money and other fraudulent activities. Considering that Binance is the largest exchange in the crypto market, this entanglement does not spell good things for cryptocurrency. And the bad things have already started to unfold. Binance US, the US affiliate of Binance, has mentioned that it will be putting a stop to dollar transactions on its platform. This is because the United States Securities and Exchange Commission has called for the freezing of its assets. According to Reuters, in a subsequent filing on Tuesday, the SEC asked a federal court to freeze Binance's US assets, including customer assets that total more than $2.2 billion held in crypto and some $377 million in US dollar bank accounts, according to the agency. The SEC expressed concern that the company could move those funds offshore. Binance.us called the motion unwarranted. So if you are a US customer that has your dollar-backed assets on Binance.us, you have till Tuesday to withdraw your funds before they are gone forever. These are scary times for crypto holders everywhere, and once again, they have gotten even scarier. Binance is not the only exchange that is implementing scary changes. Robinhood has also been doing scary things. Just this past Friday, it announced that it was delisting three cryptocurrencies from its platform. This also has to do with Binance's issues with the SEC. Some tokens were identified as securities in the Binance lawsuit and also the Coinbase lawsuit. And Robinhood is deciding to distance itself from all of that by delisting those tokens. Now, SHIB is not one of those cryptocurrencies that have been delisted, which could be the one good thing in all of this. However, let us not forget that Binance is still the largest whale. I'm not just talking about Binance being the exchange that holds the most sheep tokens. Binance is actually the wallet with the most sheep tokens, aside from the burn wallet. And with all of this happening, it's anyone's guess what that means for sheep. Interestingly, Binance became the largest sheep whale by coming to the rescue of a failing crypto exchange company. As I mentioned earlier, Binance was really on it, buying up struggling companies and offering loans to those that needed it. This was how Binance ended up owning all of Voyager Digital's tokens. And if you have been around for a while, you know that Voyager owned a lot of sheep. In fact, in the wake of its bankruptcy, Voyager started selling some of its assets to recover some money. And because it held a lot of sheep, sheep ended up being the token that it sold the most of, which was not good for the price of sheep. So when Binance offered to buy Voyager, it came as a relief to sheep holders because it meant that Voyager sheep purchases would be brought to an end. Unfortunately, with Binance now battling with a lawsuit, we might be back to where we started. In fact, we might be at a worse point than when we started. And that's because Binance held some sheep tokens before it bought over Voyager, which is how it became the largest sheep holder in the world. If Binance has to sell off its sheep tokens due to its lawsuit, the Shiba Inu token might not be able to survive it. If you found this really valuable, please drop a comment and share this video with friends. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, thus helping me to keep increasing the quality of the videos. Now, even if Binance didn't sell off its sheep tokens, which does not seem possible considering that it is happening right now, there are other ways that this suit could affect crypto and sheep holders. But before we get into that, this channel is a daily giveaway of 100,000 sheep. For a chance to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below, hashtag Shiba Inu. Good luck!
The SEC has classified some cryptocurrencies as securities, which is a decision that can affect everyone from investors to exchanges and the wider cryptocurrency market. According to Being Crypto, the pivotal case SEC v. WJ Howey Co. set forth the Howey test criteria to determine whether a transaction qualifies as an investment contract, a type of security. This test checks if a transaction involves an investment in a common enterprise, expecting profits primarily from others' efforts. Applying these criteria to the cryptocurrency market, the SEC has underscored the likelihood that several tokens meet the definition, therefore requiring adherence to established securities laws. Thankfully, SHIB did not make it to SEC's list of securities, which means that users can still freely trade it. Also, not many major cryptocurrencies made it to the list. However, both Terra tokens, Terra USD, and Luna are securities. But more importantly for this video, both Binance tokens, Binance Coin, BNB, and Binance USD, BUSD have been listed as securities, which just adds to Binance's mountain of problems. If you hold any of the cryptocurrencies that have been listed as securities, you need to make quick decisions as to what to do with your tokens, especially if you live in the US. According to Be Crypto, selling unregistered securities generally constitutes a violation of US law. This regulation necessitates that securities undergo registration with the SEC before their sale to the public. Cryptocurrencies are not registered with the SEC because the very idea of them is that they are unregulated. So if you own any of those tokens, you have some serious decisions to make. However, even if the cryptocurrencies that you own have not been considered securities, you still have some decisions to make. With everything that is going on, holding your tokens in an exchange might not be the best idea right now. This is not me trying to tell you what to do, it remains your decision to make, but if Binance could get into trouble for fraudulent activities, it doesn't seem like any crypto exchange platform is safe so you might want to start considering moving your tokens out of exchange platforms and into a cold wallet. Of course, the Shiba Inu cold wallet would probably be the best option, but with that still in the works, currently one of the best options would be a Ledger wallet. Ledger is one of the most trusted hardware wallets out there. I must say Ledger is slightly safer than its competitors because it is built on a double chip base as opposed to competitors single chip base. Simple interface might be the better option for someone who is new to using cold wallets. Nonetheless, I really think you need to consider moving your tokens into one. I'll leave a link to the Ledger cold wallet in the description below so that you can make your choice. Just so you know how serious this is, DaVinci Jeremy, a popular early Bitcoin investor, thinks that leaving your tokens in exchanges right now is a terrible idea. This man urged people to buy at least $1 worth of Bitcoin 10 years ago and has been making some of the smartest crypto investment decisions since then. So he knows his cryptocurrency onions, and is now advising that people pull out their funds from exchanges. Binance's lawsuit is showing that exchanges are not as safe as we thought they were. So do your research and come to your own conclusion, but make sure to really think about all that is happening and consider all the factors so that you don't lose your money when you still have the opportunity to save it. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.